Let's talk about how we calculate E-cell under non-standard conditions. Just a reminder what the difference is. This value of E-cell is referring to concentrations of one molar and at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. All right, if we're at any concentration other than one molar and any temperature other than 25 degrees Celsius, we have to calculate what E-cell is under non-standard conditions. So given this reaction, and here's the value of E-cell under standard conditions, 0.48 volts, if the concentration of uh, Al3 plus is 1.5 molar and the concentration of manganese 2 ion is 0.5 molar and the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius, what is the new cell potential? So the first thing we have to do is we have to calculate the reaction quotient, right? So that's products over reactants. We omit the two solids because those two solids are not participating in the equilibrium. So it's just Al3 plus squared because the coefficient is 2 divided by manganese 2 to the third because the coefficient is 3. So I plug in those two values. My reaction quotient comes out to be 18. Now we need to figure out how many electrons are transferred in this electrochem process. So we look at the half reactions. From our balanced half reaction, we see that six electrons are transferred. That means that the number of moles electrons transferred is six. Now all we have to do is find out what the new E cell value is under these non-standard conditions. So E cell under non-standard conditions, because remember that's what the degree sign means, means under standard conditions, is equal to E cell under standard, degree, standard conditions minus, there's our R value again, 8.314. Uh, there's temperature in Kelvin divided by number of moles times Faraday's constant, all multiplied by the natural log of the reaction quotient. So I plug in my values. 0.48 is my standard cell potential. 8.314 is a constant. T, why, is it in, why isn't it 28? Well, temperature must be in Kelvin, right? So I take my Celsius temperature and add 273. 6 is the number of moles transferred, and Faraday's constant is 96,485 and then I take the natural log of 18. When I do all this reduction, that comes out to be 0 0.0125 will carry extra decimal places and round at the end. So when I subtract that from my cell potential under standard conditions, notice my new cell potential isn't all that different. Under standard conditions, it was 0.48, and under these non-standard conditions, it's only 0.47. But then again, look at what happened, right? 0.15 molar and 0.5 molar, those don't deviate too far from the standard condition of 1 molar. And 28 degrees Celsius doesn't deviate too far from standard temperature. So it makes sense that my non-standard conditions cell potential isn't a whole lot different from what it is under standard conditions. But nonetheless, anytime you have cell potential uh, calculation where the concentrations are not 1 molar and the temperature is not 25 degrees Celsius, you have to calculate the cell potential this way.